telling me that I was missing software for it, and I'm like, I have the Microsoft Store. What else do you need? And it apparently needs an Xbox bar or Xbox you friends or something like that. Course. So I, I was like, are you kidding me? Really? So I'm like, so I have to go figure out how to get this thing again. So I had to go through a bunch of hoops just to get Minecraft Bedrock version to work. And then I gotta say, it has a very nice system. But after seeing a few issues around it, I kind of didn't like it anymore. So, literally, I played on my Switch for about maybe 10, 20 minutes. And then I kind of just went, you know what? This isn't for me. The children of Bull Kathos settled in the northern steppes, an area that is now known as the Dreadland. Theirs was primarily a nomadic and that. tribal culture, though they had a few permanent settlements such as Ceseron and Haragoth, a group of revered former warriors known as the Elder Council ruled the barbarians. Okay. So yeah, so I think I did it for 10-20 minutes and then that's when uh, me and my friend created uh, Circa Craft shortly thereafter. And then I remember because he had he had a person comment on his stuff saying like, uh, why don't you guys go on Java? It's it's better for uh, graphics. No, it's it's better for overall performance. No, we made some practice for this. So, uh, it's better for overall performance and stuff like that. And by the time that this was even in debate to even try and move it over to Bedrock, we've already gone through 1.13 and we were getting to 1.14. Okay, is this the thing I'm thinking of? Yeah, okay. Demon is here. <laughs> Hello there, buddy old pal. The one who killed Lord Belial. I will save her. Tearing the flesh from your bones. You do that, buddy. I remember it took me about an almost pretty much like 10, 20 minutes to kill you if I'm like this sort of But yeah, so we we did try and experiment a little bit with um, moving the server over to bedrock. Uh, this was before we had a bunch of server issues that Bedrock, or not Bedrock, uh, that uh, nobody could connect to the server, so literally we couldn't even do it. There you go. Okay. Hmm. Got some good things now. So yeah, so a lot of people weren't able to connect to the server, so we're like, okay, let's go see if Bedrock will help. Bedrock didn't. But one of the things that we were trying to look for was that we were trying to find out if there was a way we can convert a Java edition world into Bedrock because I knew they were different file. They were under different like file extensions. So I already knew that coming in, right? So I kind of figured out, uh, so I looked up if there was a way to do it and there was a few ways to do it and I thought, hey, that's kind of awesome. So we're gonna kind of go and do that. There might be a hidden chest here that I just don't remember. So I'm just going to go take a brief look around. So there was. We found one that worked fairly well. It converted the entire world into bedrock. But all of the chests and most of the farms. And I think all of the chests. Literally their physical sort of. Prisoners are panicking now. They must have noticed that fresh wheat only comes after one of their number is dragged away, screaming. This will not hold. Slaughter the ones who starve themselves and feed them to their hungry flame. When those ones are fully starved, I will be ready. Okay, so pretty much like the the storage is like physical 
like item placement would be completely gone so pretty much with you if you had a base with like 20 or so chests if we moved it from java to bedrock there would be no chests and we got really sad when we saw that and most of the farms were broken for some reason empty victory over a useless tool you have only to lead your inevitable destruction your walls have grown no stronger. Our assault continues unabated. The stone will still be mine. Are you done? Thank you. Terrifying noises were coming from the armory. So Tyriel went to investigate. He said if you were to return, I should send you there. Alright. Guess we're going to the armory. So yeah, so we made a pretty a pretty so conscious decision. Stable now. The demon's rage has been subdued. Yes. Hope it for how long? Long. Our time grows short. We must take this fight to Asmodan. To the battlefield then. To battle. Can you feel the keep shuddering? Asmodan seized weapons. Saving these walls will have meant nothing if they're reduced to rubble. Indeed. I'll defend them. We will not fail you, Seraph. Yeah, so we made a very conscious decision between uh, the three people that were on. Say, uh, we made a conscious decision saying that we're not going to do bedrock unless there is a better method to keep storage in there. There was three... There actually, there was three attempts. One actually kept some of the storage with some of the items in there. The keep is secure. Our fight continues in the battlefield, where Asmodan's war machines rain death on our soldiers. Are you kidding me? That was it? Alright. So, yeah, back to what I was saying. So we had three attempts. One got rid of all the storage. The second one kept some of the storage with some of the items in there. And the other one rinse repeated the first t attempt again. So we're like, it's not reliable enough. So we're not going to go do that. Uh, but we were thinking, uh, though, we, we were actually thinking this. This was at least at one point. Uh, we would have attempted to add items through creative mode to fit the same storage but then it would be extremely unreliable because then if you move something from java to there we can't really know if that person is actually being honest with their items kind of thing so we went no we're not really going to go through that nonsense so we just continue with java edition and we were kind of sad about that thank the god you're here You've got to destroy those ballisti. They're raining hell down upon us. We can't last much longer. Oh, okay. Where do I need to go? Do I need to go over here? Perfect. And another thing that was also kind of also present was that we didn't know if we could end up porting over our data packs at all over to the next one because 1.14 we were doing these slight experiments uh, with data packs. I know one we had a tree, ca a tree capitator one. Uh, we did the dimensional quarry as another way of getting resources if you just didn't want to move away from your base. I know one of our members was abusing, well, I don't want to say abusing it, but was using it a lot because he was new to Minecraft, so he didn't want to go and, uh... It's not that he didn't want to go out and farm, it's that he didn't know many farms, and he wasn't in that sort of technical area either. Not. Because, again, he was new to Minecraft, so he didn't know that kind of stuff. So he ended up going, well, I'm gonna use this a little bit, so I said, okay. So we, so he, he used the... Hold on. There were just too many of them. Men are losing hope. 
demons' numbers seem endless. They come at all times, day or night. And no amount of casualties we inflict slows their advance. We need reinforcements. We need help. No. Okay. So, yeah, so he, we, he, he was using it a lot, so we kind of didn't want to go switch over just in case we couldn't. Uh, it's not even in the same realm that because of Bedrock Edition, it has more micro -trans transactions. That's why we didn't want it on there. It was that the world wasn't going to be as what we wanted it to be in. Because if it was like if there was like a perfect conversion where all items and all that were moved over, then we would obviously go, yeah, we want that in our uh, for our server. Now, there's something else that I kind of wanted to mention this. I do have a Bedrock server. I haven't tested it out fully yet, and there was a sort of disclaimer kind of thing when I did uh, download it and sort of inst installed it as well, similar to like a, a Minecraft one. The difference is that this one is more of it's like, it's not even like foolproof kind of thing. I think that's kind of weird, but then again, I don't really care too much about it. Because it's not like we're going to be using it all that often. I need to do more proper tests around it, because we might do a Bedrock series, maybe. We might have, like, two different server craft servers, maybe. One where if you like Bedrock, you go there, or if you want Java, where you have more features. And one of the features that I actually like, because I used it for Oracle, uh, you want to go there. Because literally, I... Because now that there is actually a, uh, a MC editor, Minecraft editor, or a world editor that's an external application now, it is known as Amulet, uh, I think, Amulet or Necklace or something, uh, that one, uh, we used uh, it, I, I use it a lot in the single player stuff. Uh, I think I used it a, a bit uh, just to kind of move Rosaria base from uh, from my testing or not testing but like a building world to like a testing ground and I remember because one of the things I was testing was if the ship was actually TNT proof or blasting proof and I legitimately moved it over to a world and literally the only thing was that it was supposed to be encased in TNT uh, like the outside was encased in TNT and it had barriers on the outside specifically so you can actually see the inside so you can actually see if it's actually bro broken anything and I kept uh, rinse and repeating it over and over again to kind of see if it's actually working properly and that's when I found out a few issues and then I kept trying to patch up those issues and I kept patching it up, kept patching it up, and kept patching it and then at the end of the day, I think I showed it off on maybe one server craft session or something. Or I showed it off through the Minecraft special. Uh, where I showed off that, like, I kept experimenting with the explosions and I found something that was very interesting. Yeah, we're not journeying in there because, uh, we're not journeying in there because we don't really need to. But yeah, so for the, for the most part, we were going, uh, I was testing it around, that's when I made the cannon, and that's when I made everything else. And it was, it was fun. It was, it was like, make, making that base, uh, trying to give the, the Raza base, or what was it? Was it Raza? Or? Yeah, it was Raza base. Making Raza base, uh, much more realistic in a sense uh, was a lot of fun to make uh, I kind of like I think the the reason why it never really did was because it was supposed to be like already technically like pre uh, like built inside of a already floating base kind of thing so it never really did needed any like landing gear or anything like as such kind of thing 
I think that's kind of what I thought of in my head was just so that I didn't have to actually build any landing gear or anything like that. But then when I built, uh, or when I technically made Foracle into uh, what it is, I ended up going, you know what, I kind of like the style of the, the wheels kind of thing, or of the, or the treads, but I kind of want to change it a little bit, so I kept trying to see if I could change it and I couldn't. So I said, you know what, let's see if I can add something either possible. exactly like it or something similar to uh, Rise of Base. And then I got the, uh, the uh, what I like to call the Reserve. And that never really, really did work out because I ended up scrapping that thing just immediately, instantaneously. Like, almost as soon as I built it, I went, now nah, I don't like it. It was originally supposed to be a six wheel machine. Or a six tire machine, however you want to call it. Two in the front, four in the back. Almost like a real world like truck kind of thing. Mind you, I know real trucks, or at least the one that I'm kind of thinking in my head, has like. It does have four in the back, but it has two right next to each other kind of thing, so it's like either all back or four wheel drive kind of thing. 